Talk about that list of 222 potential witnesses. Joining us now, Live Five's legal analyst, attorney Mark Pepper. Mark, we got through just a handful of witnesses today. And the state, as we know, they have a tough case to prove. Who do you think was the best witness to prove the state's case? Yeah, good evening, Cameron. Very, uh, shall we say, good start, I suppose, if you're the state. Not a bad start by the defense. So kind of a tie all in all today. I thought the state did exactly what it needed to do. Keep in mind, their goal is to lay the groundwork so that the evidence we hear down the road in the weeks to come is legitimate evidence. How do you do that? You call witnesses, such as the 911 operator, the first responder, to make sure that the scene is secure. The state checked all those boxes today so that the evidence that does come in and what it reveals will be legitimate. I thought on the defense side, they did a good job of poking holes where they could. Uh, they got Chappie Chapman, a uh, 26-year veteran of the police department, to admit he thought uh, Murdoch was, was visibly upset. Uh, he had a shotgun because he was scared that somebody might still be on the property. Anytime you elicit those types of things, you're creating reasonable doubt. So all in all, a pretty good day for both sides. And as it relates to all the witnesses, you just talked about how they're poking holes in each other's arguments. Uh, I guess, w was it still a productive, get, a productive day? It was the very first day. Uh, did it go as expected? Yeah, I think so. Again, you, what the state is trying to do is kind of tell a story, and that's exactly what you want your prosecutor to do. If you're the jury, you want to understand how this developed. And so what did the state do? They started with the 911 call. They then brought in the first responder the chief of the police department, the fire department, excuse me. And then they brought on the guy that was in control of the scene from the time they get there. You're telling a story. On the flip side, if you're the defense for each person that comes up there, if they didn't do any harm, you don't ask any questions, which is why we got through three or four witnesses pretty quickly. And then you pick and choose your spots, just as the defense rightly did. All right, Attorney Mark Pepper live for us. Thanks so much again, Mark. And don't forget, you can follow along with the trial live. Just visit live5news.com or download Live 5 Plus on Roku, Fire TV, or Apple TV. We'll have a live stream of that trial every day. It starts back up in the morning at 930. And if you can't watch the trial, then make sure to check out the live blog. Our digital journalists will be posting real-time updates as the trial moves forward. You can find that on live5news.com.